In this video, we will learn how to obtain 2 benzoxazolinone using acetyl salicylic acid as the starting material. Benzoxazolinone is a degradation product of benzoxazinoid used to reduce the germination and growth of fungi and harmful plants in agriculture. Allelopathy is a technique that involves the direct or indirect effect of one plant on another through the release of chemical compounds. Tres parties component ester shintesis. Lo extraction e hydrolysis del orchido acetyl salicylico utilizando orchido chlorhydrico diluido. Obtención de salicylamida con urea y obtención de orchido salicylico. Y finalmente, la shintesis de 2 benzoxazolinona se logro mediante la transposición de Hoffman de salicylamida con hypochlorito de sodio. First, we extract acetyl salicylic acid from commercial 500 mg tablets. In a 250 ml beaker, we put 60 tablets of 500 mg of acetyl salicylic acid. Cover them with 50 ml of methanol and let them rest for about 20 minutes until they disperse. We stir for 10 minutes. We filter to separate the excipient from the tablets. Then drag the contents of the glass with 50 ml of methanol. Wash the solid from the filter funnel with 50 ml of methanol. 150 ml of methanol has been used by us in total. We evaporate the methanol using vacuum distillation in a water bath to recover it. After all the methanol has evaporated, we allow it to rest so that the acid crystallizes. Boil with 100 ml of water for 10 minutes to remove all the residual methanol. Place the dilution in a 1000 ml flask. Add 200 ml of water and 10 ml of concentrated hydrochloric acid and heat them at reflux for one hour. Heating acetyl salicylic acid with dilute acid causes the acetyl group to hydrolyze, resulting in the formation of salicylic acid and acetic acid. By allowing it to cool, a significant amount of salicylic acid crystallizes. 100 ml of additional water was added to disperse and collect the solid through suction. Dry in the oven at between 50 and 80 degrees. We determine the purity by determining the melting point, which must be 159 degrees. In the second step we obtain salicylamide using the salicylic acid obtained, urea and boric acid as a catalyst. To proceed, we will put 10 grams of salicylic acid, 14 grams of urea, and 1 gram of boric acid in a 250 milliliters flask. Heat the flask in an oil bath until it reaches 150 degrees. One melts the mixture, homogenizes it with a spatula, and continues heating for two hours while stirring. Toxic fumes are produced by this operation. Working outdoors or in a fume hood is recommended. After two hours have gone by, carefully add 50 milliliters of 25% ammonia in 10 milliliters portions. Bring to a boil for a total of 10 minutes. Cool with an ice bath and add 40 ml of concentrated hydrochloric acid. A white precipitate is formed. Collect the precipitate by suction. Dry in an oven at 80 degrees and determine the melting point. The melting point must be in the range of 140 and 144 degrees. In determining the melting point, a higher value was obtained, which indicates that it may be contaminated with unreacted salicylic acid. In a second identical operation, I reacted 10 grams of salicylic acid with 16 grams of urea and 2 grams of boric acid. I heated it for two hours in an oil bath at 180 degrees. After adding the ammonia, I added 20 milliliters of water and boiled it for 30 minutes. It yielded better results and the melting point of the obtained product was closer to 144 degrees. After obtaining salicylamide, we will learn how to obtain 2-benzoxazolinone. 
The initial step is to make the hypochlorite solution. In a 100 milliliters Erlenmeyer flask, I diluted 3.3 grams of sodium hydroxide in 55 milliliters of water and added 15 milliliters of the 5% hypochlorite solution. We placed 4 grams of salicylamide and 110 milliliters of water in a 250 milliliters flask that was immersed in an ice bath. We set up an addition funnel over the flask with the hypochlorite solution. When the salicylamide solution reaches 7 degrees, the basic hypochlorite solution is added slowly while stirring. The temperature should not exceed 10 degrees. Once half of the hypochlorite solution is added, the reaction changes to blue and almost all of the salicylamide dissolves. When all the hypochlorite solution has been added, cool with an ice bath. We add 18 milliliters of 10% sodium hydroxide and heat it at 70 degrees for 30 minutes. It has been observed that when heated, the solution turns yellow. Following this heating process, cool with water and then cool with an ice bath to reach a temperature of 8 or 10 degrees. As the solution cools, it returns to its blue color. With stirring, we add 30 milliliters of concentrated hydrochloric acid and a brown precipitate is produced. Collect the precipitate by suction and dry it in an oven at 60 degrees for 24 hours. The theoric melting point of 2 benzoxazolinone is 133 to 140 degrees, and in our test, it was 143 degrees, quite close to the theoretical point. The yield of 2 benzoxazolinone synthesis was 64% when salicylamide was used.